Hi, I'm Scott Krinsky, and what you're about to see is the greatest opportunity I've ever had in my life. <laughs> um. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation, the only web show on the internet that isn't shrill Asian girls giving makeup advice. I'm Stephen Falk, uh, this here is Todd Robert Anderson. Hey! That's Steve Skelton. And our guest, Scott Skrinsky, you know him from Chuck and all sorts of stuff. Hey Scott. Hey Steve. <laughs> Tra Transformers uh, 3, yeah. he was in that. Uh, Transformers, it was Transformers 3. 3, yay. We're really happy to have you, thank you very oh, much. Thank, thank you guys, it's a real real honor to be here. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. that was we'll, 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 we'll start uh, with having a little popcorn, as I hope you guys are. Uh, popcorn. Uh, popcorn. popcorn. Coachella! 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 Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, the way we always do, with, with rash judgments. And this is where we tell you if you should see the movies coming out this week based on nothing but our own dickish instincts. Uh, let's start with Todd. God. Oh, uh, my rash judgment is for a movie called uh, What What Maisie Knew. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a, a festival uh, favorite. Uh, it's got Julianne Moore and Steve Coogan who are having a bad marriage and their kid Maisie's sad about it uh, and then they break up and Julianne Moore gets together with one of them vampires from True Blood and he's handsome uh, and charming and she really likes him and brings him to school and uh, Julianne Moore is negligent I guess because she's a singer and she's torn around and uh, it's it's sad it's the there's in the trailer there's this music that makes you sad so uh, I'm not gonna see in the theater, but I'll probably uh, look at it on cable. I'll get a, a bottle of Merlot and some chocolates and uh, curl up on my couch and uh, cry. You were never going to see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably not. I'll just watch Kramer versus Kramer again. All right. Sounds good. That's what Maisie did or something. No. Uh, <laughs> or do or what said. Or now, Steve Skelton, what, oh, you have a movie to talk I do, about. I do have a movie to talk about. It is uh, The Iceman. It is a Hitman movie. It's based on a true story. Uh, it stars Michael Shannon as the Hitman, and Ray Liotta, I guess, is his mob boss or oh, guy or whatever. Wow. Very intense. Seems like it's he's wanting to balance like his work life uh, issues because sure. he's got his family that doesn't know what he does, but he kills like a hundred people over the course of like 10, 15 years. Um, it looks kind of fun and interesting. Uh, it's actually the trailer has some really cool shots in it that look nice. So I would give it a shot. All right. <laughs> you would give a movie about a hit. I was shot. What? Scott, you have a tiny little art house movie to talk about. Yeah. Um, my film is Iron Man 3. Um, it's got uh, Robert Downey Jr. He plays this guy that, like, uh, I think if you've seen it, have you heard of it before? He, he, uh, he forms an iron shield around his body and he saves humanity. And the Pepper Potts character is back. That's uh, Gwyneth, uh, Guy Pierce, all the favorites. All your favorites. All the best. Uh, you got them all in one movie. It's you want to kill a thing of popcorn, and just kick back in some stadium seating. This is the film. You just want to you know, maybe smoke a bowl, hang out in a the theater on a dark, hot summer day. This is this is the film for you. Yeah, I want to see what a fifty million dollar performance looks like because that's what they paid that Robert Downey Jr. You're damn right. I'm sure it's going to be really great. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that was rash judgments, and now we're going to move on to our mid segment, and we're going to have uh, someone. Oh yeah, me give a little instruction <laughs> for God. actors. Thank yeah. God. Instruction for actors. Let's go watch that thing. Hi. Becoming a movie star is easy enough, but being a movie star, that isn't easy at all. Sure, making movies is, is nothing but fun, 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 but promoting the movies, that's a lot of hard work. You gotta go on a million talk shows and do a million interviews. So, there are three interview styles that you can choose from when promoting your movie. Pick the one that feels right for you. But remember, you gotta choose carefully, otherwise you can end up tanking the box office of your next big picture. Now, the first technique you can use is to be happy and energetic, sort of in line with what audiences are used to seeing you do in your movies. Stars such as Tom Hanks and Tom Cruise employ this technique. 
Let's see what that looks like. Hello, I'm Steve Skelton, filling in for Oprah. Now we're really lucky to have in the studio here the big star, everybody loves him. Just welcome, welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's so great to have it's you here. It's awesome to be here. <laughs> now, can you tell us what we're going to be in store for with your big movie that opens oh, this weekend? Oh man, this thing is going to blow your mind. It's you'll laugh, you'll cry. I mean, it's the, it's the greatest thing you have ever seen. Wow. <laughs> and Morgan Freeman is amazing. I love amazing. him. I love Morgan yeah. Freeman. Great. <laughs> See, fun. However, if you're the type of actor who tends to play serious roles like Bruce Willis or Ryan Gosling, you may want to play it cool. But then at some point during the interview, show that ah, you don't take yourself that seriously. Hey, I'm Todd Anderson filling in for David Lennerman. Please give it up for the biggest star in the universe here to promote what is sure to be the biggest award-winning film of the season. Yeah. <laughs> Had a little trouble there, buddy? I thought you were supposed to be cool. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> I guess I'm only human, <laughs> just like, like you guys. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, you, you, you got any gum? Got any gum? Yeah. You, you got any? Got hey, it. uh, hey, you got any gum? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have bad breath or something? No. Just a... Cool. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Oh. <laughs> but finally, you can use the interview technique employed by stars such as Jennifer Aniston or Harrison Ford, where you act like you absolutely hate everything about being a star. I'm Steve Falk, filling in for Piers Morgan, who's been deported. I'm here with the biggest movie star in the world. Now, you've come a long way since 1977's box office champion that ushered in the age of the blockbuster. What does that feel like? <laughs> it's, it's what I do. Ah. Yes. Um, so you uh, started as a carpenter before all this, yes? Oh, God, man. Are we, are we really going to talk about this? I mean, who, who really cares? Like, who, who cares about that? I mean, it's so... Hmm. It's, been, we, it's been covered, man. I thought we were going to talk about my humanitarian work in Canada. That's really important right now. Damn. Quite. Uh, uh, oh. <clears throat> well, yes, <clears throat> there you have it. Three interview styles. Pick the one that's right for you. I myself hate doing interviews, and that's why I've chosen a life of quiet anonymity. <sighs> Bye. All right, well, that was real informative, I think. Uh, next time I have to give a big interview, I'll know exactly what to do. I'll also know that you really good, do a really good Oprah. Thank you. Yeah, you're Thank you. Well, I, I, I prepared like Daniel Day-Lewis prepares for... Well, I, I, he, I had spent about I, minutes. You cobbled. I don't expect I'll shoes. ever get to talk to Oprah, so I was next honored. Next best thing. Yeah, next, yeah. next best yeah. thing. Yeah, you went for it. All right, everybody. Well, that was the Film Pigs web show on geeknation.com. That's uh, Todd Robert Anderson. Todd Bob 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 That's Skell Skevens. <laughs> Scott Krinsky, everybody. Krinsky. Scott, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> hey. Cheers. I kind of slurred his name the first time, but uh, <laughs> nothing to do with now the alcohol. Really nothing to do with alcohol. And on behalf of um, me, Stephen Falk, I'd like to thank you for watching and for choosing us to spend a few minutes with. Do you want to banter? Let's banter about banter. Yeah, banter, banter. Yeah. You don't want to banter. What kind of banter do you like at the end of your shows? I like a genial banter. Genial. It's genial. Yeah, genial. Yeah. That sounds. I like. Hey guys, my car's waiting. Okay. All right. See you. Thanks for coming. Hi, Diva. Diva.
Yeah, it's oh. weird. He was so nice until right at the end. Yeah, well, he, yeah. 